Hi, Richard. How are you this morning? Hey, Joan. I'm very good in my time zoned <laughs> model in my head. But apart from time zones, I'm doing really well, actually. And I've quite a lot to, to tell you, actually. Um, some really good, other we will discuss on the call to see how we can improve it. So the last time we met, we did some tapping of money concerns and it worked out quite well, actually, because last month I wasn't too worried about money at all. And I actually had a nice, relatively healthy balance in my bank account at the end of the month, which doesn't happen often, ah. but it was really good. And then the other thing that was that really surprised me was usually at the end of every month, I'm waiting to see when money comes into my account. And this month, I got a little message to say that there had been various uh, uh, lodgements into my account and I hadn't even looked at my online banking. I hadn't even thought about money going in. So that's really good. It's fantastic. So that's really good. Now, <laughs> at the beginning of this month, eh, things aren't as, as bright as they were, but I'm still not worried. So the money hasn't flowed yet in this month and the balance isn't where I'd like it to be, but I'm not overly worried. But then that brings the next challenge to me. Um, I'm feeling really relaxed, I have to say. Uh, yesterday, I wanted to do lots of work and then my sister-in-law said, oh, we're going to the zoo. Will you come and, uh, you know, I spent time with them and with my, with my nephew. So that was great. In general... <sighs> I haven't feel, felt overly motivated to work on my own projects. That's kind of a little bit of a lie because I've actually worked and I've developed two journals that I want to sell on Amazon this week. So that's, yeah. that's, that's pretty good. It's but it's just, I don't, feel the, I don't feel the motivational need. I, maybe I don't have the hunger uh, of, oh my God, I have to start working on all my side projects to make money. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing or... Okay, first of all, it's only, uh, what date is this now? It is November, now this part we've got going because it's- The fourth. You know, it's the fourth, right? So there are yes. only, we're only into the fourth day of November. Yes. And you were already thinking, oh my gosh, here it is, November, and there's not enough money, or I'm nervous that there won't be enough money? I'm thinking- there's not enough money, but I'm not nervous or concerned, which is interesting. Good. Yes. So Could that you is. You please that, say there's not enough yet, or it is coming. There okay, is there's, plenty, and it's on the way. I like that. Uh, it's coming. <laughs> there's plenty, and it's on the way. I like. It's that. on the way. It's on the way. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to share with who's ever watching and listening been doing a lot of tapping myself for abundance okay. and Excellent. OMG. I, <laughs> when I log into my bank account, I go, seriously, seriously. Yeah. Um, abundance is flowing into my life for which I'm extremely grateful. And Oh, by the way, I have gone from the, I need money. I need money to how can I serve? Okay. Okay. That brings more yeah. abundance than where's the money. Okay. How can I serve? Where is my passion? My passion is teaching. My passion mm -hmm. is consulting. My passion is counseling. How can I combine all those to serve the world? Okay. And then I am led by my inner guidance, my inner wisdom by God. Then people come into my life to help me serve my purpose. Okay, interesting, so interesting reframe. Yes, yes, yes. So that's what I that's my experience. And okay. if you choose to consider that, mm -hmm. that might, or anyone else who's watching and listening, that might be helpful for them too. No, that's actually no, but as I say, there's a, a more, I think, relaxed attitude, mm -hmm. um, which, which has been very helpful. But on the one hand, then part of my head says, well, you can't relax. You need to be work, 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 work. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not saying relax about doing things. Relax about mm. your plan with mm. vengeance. Mm. Go for it. Mm. Uh, I, have, uh, I have a plan, and then I have to prioritize what's coming up. So this day I'm doing this. This day I'm doing that. Yes. I have to prepare for this. I have to send that. I have to create. I'm going to create a new course. 
blah, blah, blah. And mm-hmm. so when I focus on the particular task, I go in it with vengeance. If I get stuck, mm-hmm. I think, okay, just look at the first sentence. Look at the first word. Just create the first word, the first sentence. After that, it flows. I also do a lot of meditation mm-hmm. on opening my crown chakra and opening my sixth chakra to download inspiration from divine love, God, higher power, and open up my sixth chakra according to well opening up all my chakras most definitely Mm. but the sixth chakra for the intuition the planning what okay the creation of the project that really helps me okay and i say a little prayer and i go okay this is what you want me to do this is the interest you've given me this is the passion you've given me now how can i create this please help me create what you sent me to do Mm. on earth okay so there's my little speech on that however let's get into some tapping here for you so okay let's do are you concerned about just procrastination or i'm not in the mood (laughs) Uh, i would say it's a a little bit of both um possibly more maybe more pushing into i'm not in the mood the need is not there the need is not there uh, which which seems to be a contradiction because obviously I want more money to flow and it will, but mm-hmm. it's just, well, just relax. You know? These two projects you're talking about for Amazon. Mm-hmm. Do you still have a passion for doing it? Oh yeah. Those are done now. And I'm working on a, I think a fourth journal this week. Oh, so, so those are done. Those are out of the way. So, so in some okay. senses, yes. But for example, I have a, I, I have a Udemy course that I need to edit and I've been, trying to edit it for, for a couple of weeks now. But it's just, I'm flying on to another topic, shall we say. I'm moving from one thing to another. Okay, I'm not focused. so the Udemy course, that's kind of, that's where you're not in the mood. It needs to be done, but you're not in the mood. Yeah, I think so. And then a couple of other things. It's just, you know, I lose. Sometimes I put everything into something. And then if I spend too long doing it, I just move on to something else. But the Udemy course still needs to, or Udemy. Do you, yeah, the Udemy potatoes, course. Potatoes. Okay. Yes. Um, it still needs to be done. Finished. Yes. Correct. Yes, it does. It needs to be edited. So it's it's all recorded. It just needs to be edited. All right. Think of the next part of the editing. Is okay. what lecture would you be in, or what part of the course would you be in? Think of that next step. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> What would, if you were to say, even though I'm not in the mood to edit this, what would the this be? Uh, I suppose this section of the course, this, this part of the course. Okay. And then you know the course that you're creating, whether you want to say it out loud for everybody or whether you know it in your head, that's fine. Okay. No, it's, a, it's the second part of a mindfulness course. Okay. So let's do, even though... Okay. I'm yeah. really yeah. not in the mood. Okay. Even though I'm not really in the mood. To edit this section of my mindfulness course. To edit this section of my mindfulness course. I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. And that's a true statement for you, Richard, correct? That you deeply and completely yes. accept yourself. Good. Absolutely. Yay. Even though I just am not in the mood to edit this section. Even though I'm not in the mood to edit this section. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'd much rather do something else. Even though I'd much rather do something else. Then focus on this section. Then focus on this section. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Top of head. I don't want to focus on this section. I don't want to focus on this section. I'm really not in the mood to focus on this right now. I'm really not in the mood to focus on this right now. I'd really rather go on to something else. I'd really rather go on to something else. But it's still there. I still have to edit it. But it's still there. I still have to edit it. It's not going to go away. It's not going to go away. It's still there. It's still there. But I'm not in the mood. But I'm not in the mood. 
but it still needs to be done. But it still needs to be done. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I'd really rather do something else. I'd really rather do something else. However, it needs to be done. However, it needs to be done. Because I need to serve the world with my mindfulness course. Because I need to serve the world with my mindfulness course. And the world's not going to see the mindfulness course until I finish editing. And the world is not going to see the mindful, mindfulness okay. course till I finish editing. Yeah. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. But it needs to be done. But it needs to be done. Because the world needs my service. Because the world needs my service. Okay. Okay, take a breath. So, on a scale of zero to ten, ten being the very most, zero <laughs> being not at all, how much would you be in the mood just to pull up that section of your course? I'd say a pretty good nine. Nine! <laughs> yes, I should have gotten I mean, a baseline before we did this. <laughs> Raspberries! I, I think I have to stop the call now because I need to edit the course. <laughs> Truthfully, no, no, no. Yeah. You're a quick student, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, you know, I was thinking, yeah, maybe, yeah. I'll just do a little bit of it, you know. Well, I mean, the world needs to know your mindfulness. The world needs your course. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Here's me coaching the coach. <laughs> <laughs> but you've done a good job. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I should have could have woulda. That's my... That's, I keep forgetting to do that. Find out what the motivation is on our zero to 10 scale mm, mm. before we start. Okay, this is kind of a moot point now, but what would you mm. guess that your motivation level was before we tapped? Uh, maybe a four or five, I'd say. Okay, now it's up to a nine? Yeah, I think so. I think I'll start later on this evening. I'll start. Okay, the world and I are going to hold you to that. Okay. okay. You have Sorry. witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'll start it. That's okay. I have terrific, no problem. Terrific. Terrific. Mm. Oh, yes. No, so that's good. No? That's fantastic. Yeah. And can I do that then if I need a little bit more on blocking? I can just do it myself. Absolutely. Okay. It's even though I'm really stuck mm. right now and cannot move forward. Okay. Even though I'm really stuck right now and I can't move forward. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Now, let me give you a little EFT trick. Okay. When we were tapping, do you notice yes. how I said, I'm not in the mood, but the world needs my help? Yes. I'm not in the mood. So what I did was I stated the problem as the reminder phrase. Okay. And then I stated the opposite. Okay. The yes. Point. Yes. This is combining cognitive behavior therapy and reframe with tapping. Okay. Okay. So then the brain starts to think, wait a minute, I'm not in the mood, but the world needs my information. Mm. Mm. And then it kind of goes, <laughs> but then the positive is, is let's go of, I'm not in the mood. I'm not motivated. And it takes on, <gasps> but what if someone needs my help? Yes. Okay. And then you have the shift. Okay. Now that's so excellent. It's not always, I'm not in the mood, I'm not in the mood, I'm not in the mood. Sometimes it's, I'm not in the mood, but what if? Yeah, because I, I, I was, when you started, I was kind of surprised because I said, okay, we're saying a negative statement here and we're tapping a negative statement. But then when you said the opposite, it was, oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Mm. Well, I am an emotional freedom techniques queen. You are. <laughs> And that, that is true. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, it's a 10. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that my teachers are, well, they're 10 plus. I'm nine, nine and a half. I'm always learning. I'm always Yes, learning. no, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> no, but that seems, yeah, that seems very good, actually. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I feel, I feel I may need to go and <laughs> do some editing. <laughs> <laughs> and have a look excellent so what else can i help you with abundance wise or any wise with tapping i i think i would want to do a little tap on on the money again tap some money you want to tap some money I tap some money from my petrol station okay yes now let's go back to your gas station yes 
So okay. you're putting the pump in your car and money is coming out of the pump into your car, into your bank account. Yes. Okay. Do you feel any hesitation, fear, resistance, not possible, not deserving, any of that? Uh, what do I feel? Any negative emotion around that? In some point, or at some point, it just feels it's going to come and I don't have to stress over it. But then I feel that that's not motivating me. So then that kind of blocks me, I think. I think that's what the okay. block is. It's not motivating you to do what you need to do to do your action steps? Or it's kind of, well, look, there's enough, there will be enough money. So do I want to? to have the abundance maybe. I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know is the, is the answer. May I make a suggestion that yes. you're at the pump, the money's going in, but you're focusing on the money. Okay. Yeah. And that will come back to what you initially said about the serving. Yeah. 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 Okay. The, the money is flowing in. However, how, if you choose that mindset, Mm-hmm. How are you serving the world? True. That's very true. You're where's, not. Your, where's your passion? And then you can look at your bank account and say, oh, thank you, divine love. Thank mm. you, universe, whatever it is for you, for this abundance. Okay. Thank okay, you for this sense. abundance. Yeah, that makes sense. You're, you're focusing on the kind of the, the end result rather than what right. you're doing to get that end result. Exactly. Because one of the things I do when I teach is I say, I want to teach you, I want to want you to have a tool to make your life better. Okay. I want to teach you a tool to make your clients' lives better. Okay. I want to create an experience for you so that you understand the, I want to create an experience for you to serve you your needs. Whatever you're here to learn, set okay. that intention, and I will do my best to create that experience for you. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start doing that in my Udemy courses. I do it in person, but I haven't said it yet in my courses. Okay. So note to self, I'm going to start doing that in my courses. Excellent. Okay. But that's the whole purpose is for me to teach someone else some a tool that is going to make their lives better. Okay. So when your mindfulness courses, your coaching courses, what do you want to teach the world to make their lives better? Uh, that's a direct question now. Yes. I think to, uh, at the moment to be really, I think, present in the moment and to enjoy what people have. Because we're too, and it's something that's really coming in strongly to me, of we're too focused on the past, the future, and not what is actually happening right now. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of like, uh, life is, there's a finite time that we have, and the problem is that we're moving so quickly that we don't enjoy, because we're thinking, well, maybe if I bought this new car, maybe if I did this next week, and we don't think about the here and now. And that's something that I, is kind of a strong passion at the moment. Mm -hmm. Follow that passion, Richard. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do another check-in in another month and see what's happening with your bank account. Okay. Follow your passion, not your bank account. Okay. Okay. Now that makes, you know, it makes sense. But it's keeping that motivation there to keep going on it. Right, right. I know sometimes I'll procrastinate because I got in my head yesterday. What if these phrases aren't good enough? What if this course isn't good enough? So I was mm. tapping myself for, even though I'm going to do the best I can, but it won't be perfect. Okay. I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay. Even though I'm always learning and it won't be perfect, but it will be as good as I can do right now. I deeply and completely accept myself. So I did some tapping on that. And then I got up and got my computer and started, okay, let's focus in right now on this project and see what I can do. 
Mm -hmm. the inspiration started flowing and I started working on it. Okay. So yes, absolutely. Anytime you feel lazy or I don't want to, or I'm bored with this right now, do a little tap for whatever's happening. You're the expert of in the moment, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do a tap for whatever's happening in the moment. Okay. Very good advice. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? That moment. And that is something that people struggle with so much because in, at my end, in my world, everybody is worried about the future. That's what anxiety is all about, being mm. worried about. Of course, of what could happen, what might happen, what, whatever could. Yeah, yeah, yep. it's true. Bring them back to the moment. Okay. That's our job. Let me just make a little note here uh, because I've just thought of something. And yeah, because it, it, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's interesting because, you know, that's the thing. We're not really that mindful, you know? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And be in the moment, yeah. I mean, I'm guilty of it right now. I'm in the moment with you and I'm having a blast. Mm. But then mm. after our time together, I'm going to think, okay, I've got this coming up, that coming up next week. I'm teaching. Mm. But it's kind of a preparatory thing. I'm not anxious about it. I just know that I have to prepare for it. So what yes. do I need to do to prepare? Mm. 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 Yeah, that's it. As I say, I'm not feeling, you know, I'm not feeling any anxiety. Because, for example, yesterday I had a fantastic day with my, with my sister-in-law and her husband and, and my nephew. And it was great fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, feeling, I'm not feeling any sort of negative emotions of guilt or anything like that. But I just think, well... Today, I could have used my time a little bit better, maybe, you know. But I, again, I started another, I finished off another journal, so I suppose it's not that bad. So oh, it could yes. be just You're doing that so I'm holding myself to too high a standard, which on the one hand is a good thing. On the other hand is, you know, it's just, as you said, you know, I'll do the best that I can for today and that's it. Hey, yeah, because I've got one, two, I've got four projects this month and I have to think, or what I'm thinking is, okay, this week's project is this. So this is what mm -hmm. I need to focus on. But then I'm taking small steps towards the other three projects. Okay. That have to be done by the end okay. of this month. Okay. Now that, that, that makes sense. I think, you know, as you say, let's, because I think for the viewers as well, it's, it's interesting to see the progression of the journey. Yes. And, you know, just to, just to catch up with the viewers on a, you know, for 15 minutes next month. 15 minutes in two months time and then to see how things oh, are because fabulous i love this well i think it would be really interesting and again the, the viewers will vote <laughs> with, their, <laughs> with their views but just to see because as i say i definitely i thought of you when i looked at my email and it said oh uh basically your salary has been paid into your account and i was like oh i never even thought about that <laughs> And usually it had been that I would be checking my online banking around about the 24th, 25th of the month. I'd be checking it maybe once or twice a day or maybe three times. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so, And I really did think of you. I, I, I thought and I said, wow, that's, yeah, that's, that's the topic because so, it's, never, it's never really happened before to me. So would you say that emotional freedom techniques has been helpful for you? I believe it definitely has. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. Because it... It was just so strange because I'm always looking at my eyes. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's, it's, you know, the 24. And that's what was blocking it. That's what was mm. blocking your abundance mm. is you're looking at it every single moment, every single. Yeah. Well, that's true. That as well. blocks it. Yeah. That's true as well. That's mm -hmm. true because I tend to do that as well. Sometimes <laughs> I like to <laughs> glance for, t for instance, today I'm going to be paying some bills and I do need to transfer money from my business account over to my personal account. Mm. So I will be doing that. But what I like to do that's a lot of fun is I look at my bank account and I go, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where I hope to be in maybe six months time. And it yeah. just keeps growing and growing. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm going to be here going, I'll be, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it back in November when you said it. And look at this now. Uh-huh. But no, I think that's good. If you're if you're up for it as well, a fifteen minute check in to see. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, I think that would be perfect. So much fun, the ham that I am, and then helping you. This is so much fun. No, that's perfect. And and I guess I guess you know anybody watching, I can tell you firsthand that I was probably a little bit skeptical last month. 
<laughs> I know uh, you were. I love skeptics. Yeah, no, I was a little bit skeptical. I said, no, I'm going to try because I know you'd reached out to me a couple of times and you'd said, come on, when are we going to set up the... Right, 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 right. Uh, the session. Right. And I was kind of like, ooh, can't do it this week. Ooh, can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But I would recommend, you know, anybody to experiment in the safety of one of your Udemy courses. Oh, you're so kind. Because, because this is it, because it's a nice safe medium that when you want to pause and you say, oh, I'm not ready to, 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 to have a face-to-face -face with, with Joan, you can yeah. just pause the video. and Well, just go to Joan Kaler. K you see my spelling there, J-O-A-N-K-A-Y-L-O-R.com, or what's easier, duh, tappingwithjoan.com. And then, bam, mm -hmm. right yeah. on the home page is a link to all my Udemy courses. I'm, Which you know. I have the ones on tap mm. out the mental blocks to your financial success mm. Mm. and how to do better at. in business. So I have business courses on there. You have one or two right. courses. Right. One might say. <laughs> <laughs> might say you have one or two courses. Well, but I no, do a little but... bit of everything. I did the business courses and then now we have number 23 that's being edited right now. So wow. I will have 23 courses on Udemy very okay. soon. And I just keep a two, two others are coming. Those are the projects that I'm working on. Oh. Really cool things are in the works. Can you give us any hints? Yes. <laughs> One is about treating trauma holistically. Wow. Okay. And the other is about creating an event conference that is sold out because I know how to put together events. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And I like that really positive I oh. know how to put together. Her events, <laughs> I so. know how to put it together. I know how to do it. Well, so, look what I've just up. look what I've just found here, just behind my computer, is my little hard disk with all my courses on. So my first step would be to plug that in once I've unplugged all oh, my other wow. devices. So it's here. It's ready. It's waiting. It it, it wants <laughs> it wants to be turned on and come alive. <laughs> if anybody ever has a question for me, Joan at JoanKaler dot com. Okay, perfect. I'm all about a really quick, ladies and gentlemen quick, quick, like five minutes. But then if you think mm. that this is something that you want to work with me on one and one, I'd be happy to discuss that with you. And very, very, very good idea if you do. So Joan, I want to okay. thank you for your time. Oh, my I pleasure. can't remember whether you're morning or you're in the evening now or, the <laughs> now, <laughs> or what time zone. Are... I'm in the, where, wherever we are on this planet, have a fabulous day. <laughs> you too, Joan. Thank you so much. And thanks everybody for watching and listening. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, of course. Our listeners are the important ones. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye.